What's up, Madden 17 fans? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to today's video. Uh, today, we're going to share with you a play that I've been running for the majority of the season and something I think is very effective. You can find this in the Atlanta Falcons offensive playbook. Now, the thing with this is um, you can do it from a regular bunch, but I really like this bunch wide. I think it actually adds another dimension to uh, the playbook. So what we're going to do is use the Z spot from the gun bunch wide. We're going to show you... Uh, a couple of key little features that you can use with this and uh, we'll simulate with what most people will be running is cover two sync uh, that's kind of the defense that you're going to be facing quite a bit um, so anyways uh, very simple uh, little little play here so a couple things that I like to do is motion snaps I find motion snaps to be very effective cool part about the bunch wide is if you wanted to you could put your tight end on a slant motion him in and still get that motion snap that way he's going to do a better job of beating man-to-man. -man. Um, just something simple and kind of minute, but I think it works really, really well. So you can try that if you want. Uh, what I'm going to recommend you do is put your uh, corner route on a deep pattern, put your uh, tight end on a quick out pattern, and then put Des Bryant on a quick in pattern. And then from there, you're going to motion Des Bryant in just a couple steps to get him going. Uh, your first read on this play is Jason Witten. Normally that's going to be fairly successful um, unless they're playing hard flats. In the case that they're playing hard flats, that's going to mean they're going to be playing something like this where they come down um, on that route. So what we're going to do off of that is we have this quick corner route. So if Witten's covered, then Cole Beasley should be open to the sideline. Okay, now normally that's going to be a quick little read. It's basically we're running bench on that side. However, if they're not open, um, th due to a couple of reasons they may not be open, um, just you know more coverage or whatever, then you're going to start looking to the middle of the field, um, and that's where Des Bryant is going to come uh, come into play. He's a very effective read over the middle there. That little in route is really very effective against both man and zone. Um, again, it's just a little motion to the inside, just to get him going. And uh, I think it does a really, really nice job. Now, the cool part about this is he's actually going to cross um, over the middle right at the time that Terrence Williams is going to be crossing over the deep middle cross. And so he's going to pull down those zones. And if you wait a little bit, you're going to be able to hit Terrence Williams right over the top. And that's actually the better route to go. And if you're smart, uh, what you'll do, unlike I did in this video, is you'll put you'll put Des Bryant where Terrence Williams is, and that'll be a really, really effective little read for you um, going forward. One thing you can also do off of this, if they're running a lot of cover two zones specifically, one thing I like to do is I like to take Ezekiel Elliott, put him, I like to set it up like this, and I'm gonna do the motion snap to Jason Witten. Um, the only difference really, uh, in my opinion, is you can get, if you Ezekiel Elliott now becomes your first read, and then the left side, you still want to glance over there, but normally you're going to get them going and you're going to get the ball to Zeke um, pretty simple. I mean, it's a pretty simple little read. It's very similar to a, another play that we're going to run from the bunch, which is why I don't always run this setup. Um, let me show you this one more time. But what it's going to do is it should try to get that, that deep read open a little bit better, okay? And, and that's what we're really... That's kind of the backbreaker route. Now, one thing I've also kind of experimented with is a little drag slant combination, um, but I don't find that to be effective because once they latch on to Terrence Williams, they're going to play deep to short. So what you really need is you really need something really, really quick uh, coming over to hold that, hold that guy down. Otherwise, you're just going to be throwing five-yard routes all game, which is fine. Uh, but again, there's a couple things that you can do. So one thing that you can do is you can put Ezekiel Elliott on a curl route. Um, that's going to do a good job for what we want it to accomplish. Now, the problem with that is it causes some issue. In my opinion, it causes a little bit of an issue when you're talking about your routes, not the timings, everything is screwed up because the spacing is now is now really dumb, in my opinion. And you run out of you run out of thing, uh, out of places to throw people. So one thing you can do to alleviate, if you want to run it like this, where we just put the running back on a curl, one thing you can do is you can put Witten on a drag, or what you could also do is motion him to the right side of the line. 
If you motion him to the right side of the line, which is something similar we do from the bunch, then he's gonna become your first read on a quick out. The beauty of that is it's gonna put more stress on the backside uh, safeties and what's gonna happen then is it's gonna open up that, that deep post route a little bit more consistently um, than if we didn't have that read um, on there. But for some reason, he still kind of plays back a little bit. So uh, it's just some things to consider uh, as you kind of look at this play. This play can be ran in several different ways. I'm just sharing a couple with you today. Um, there's there's all kinds of things you can do. You can do the motion slant, glitch. I mean, just any, any kind of thing. Just go crazy with this. But really what I want to center on um, is is in my opinion this setup is really the better uh, of the two because you get a little uh, you get a couple things on this left side that is really kind of unique you get that nice little bench concept um, and in my opinion it, it does very very good beats a lot of coverages so uh, again real quick just to kind of recap your quick first read is to the left side your Second read isn't going to be to Des Bryant over the middle. If that's not open, you're going to wait and throw it right up the top. An aggressive catch that, click on, and you're going to make a play. So that's pretty much what we got for you today. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, do me a favor. Share this video with friends. Just send it to them with a quick text or email. Uh, share it on Facebook. Whatever you want to do to get this video out. In my opinion, uh, I think the best way to get this video attention is by you guys to take the initiative and share it with your friends. Uh, so go ahead and do that for me if you would. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for your time. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask that in the comments.